Hey everyone, Mr. Sugeno here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up RetroArch on Android. Let's get started. So first and foremost, RetroArch is completely free and it's available right on the Google Play Store. It's very easy to set up. If you're wondering what RetroArch is, you've come to the right place. In a nutshell, it is one of the best emulation solutions available. It's available on the Raspberry Pi known as RetroPie. It's available on PC, Mac, Linux, and Android. It's pretty much a one-stop shop for all of your emulation needs. It'll emulate a bunch of different systems and a bunch of different ways to emulate each system as well. There are tons of configuration options. There's a lot you can do with this app. It is very, very powerful. And for this video, I'm gonna keep things fairly basic. So just a fairly basic install in order to get you up and running and playing some games. There are two versions of RetroArch on the Google Play Store, the regular one, which is known as RetroArch, and RetroArch 64, which is a 64-bit version. The 64-bit version is for more powerful devices that are 64-bit, and if you're unsure, just download them both and see which one works for you. From a setup perspective, it's exact same setup between the two. RetroArch 64 has a few more options in terms of emulators. For example, Dolphin, which is the GameCube emulator. Now, once RetroArch is downloaded and installed and you open it up, it'll look something like this. So I've got it open on my phone right here and you can see it is one for one. So if you see me looking down, I'm looking at my phone. This menu may look intimidating, but it's really not. Uh, the load core, that's essentially loading the system. What system do you want to play? The content is the ROM. What game do you want to play? Only games that are compatible with the relevant core or system will work. For example, if you're trying to load a Super Nintendo game with a Genesis core, it's probably not gonna work for you. So the first thing I recommend doing once you have this menu up and running is heading over into load core. I want to tell my phone what systems I plan on emulating. So I'm just gonna turn my phone into landscape mode to make things easier to read. I'm gonna head into load core and then I'm gonna go into download core. Now, this is the list of all the systems that RetroArch will emulate. You can see here, there's Arcade, Atari, Commodore. There are also multiple listings. For example, Nintendo, you can see different listings for Game Boy Advance. These are all the different cores that are available. Each core will emulate the system slightly different. Now, for example, here on the SNES, there's a huge list. Uh, I'll highlight three of them, BSNES Accuracy, BSNES Balanced, and BSNES Performance. There have, they have very accurate descriptions of what they do. For example, BSNES Performance, this one is geared towards more performance-based, where if your system is having issues running it, maybe it's running slowly, the BSNES Performance Core may help get those games running smoother and up to speed. If you have a very powerful device, then maybe try out BSNES Accuracy, which will run it more accurately to the original SNES, but at the cost of additional CPU power. And obviously balanced is a balance between accuracy and performance. So if performance is working great, accuracy is a little slow or not working the best, try balanced out and that may work as well. To determine which core is gonna work best for you right off the bat, without trying is gonna be very difficult. There are a lot of different devices on the market with a lot of different specifications. For example, I have a Samsung Galaxy Note 9. I know for a fact that it will run things differently than a Samsung Galaxy S5. If you have an LG, if you have something else, it may handle an emulator, a core, different than the way my phone does. So the best thing to do here is trial and error. Download a core, see if it works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, Try another one, they're all free. Anyway, select systems here that you have ROMs for, just click on it, it'll automatically download, and then we'll go to the next step. Once we have the cores downloaded, we can now start loading our games in. To do this, you select the middle menu item on the bottom, the three bars there, to bring that up. Now, once you're at this page, you can see scan directory, scan file. Those two options will either scan an entire directory and bring all the ROMs, or if you just wanna bring in one specific ROM, you can select scan file. 
So I've selected scan directory. This is where you pinpoint wherever the folder is with all your ROMs. If you're like me, you have a micro SD card that's plugged into the phone. If your phone does not support an external micro SD card, then it's probably on internal memory that you've transferred it via USB. In any case, just select the folder that you're going to and then click scan this directory. For me, I'm going to be a little more specific to speed up the process. Go to my SD card, go to my games folder, and then I can click scan the directory there. If I have ROMs in here that I have not downloaded the proper course for, they will not populate in the playlists. So that's why I had you download the cores first, the systems that you plan on playing, in order to populate the games to the proper lists. So once it's done finished scanning, all you have to do is scroll down here and you can see the different playlists. For example, Nintendo Game Boy Advance on my phone, Game Boy Color, Game Boy, and SNES. So it's picked up the systems that I have ROMs for and populated them in an easy list. So every time you go into RetroArch, all you really have to do is go into those middle, the middle icon right here and scroll down to your playlist and select the game you're going for. Now once all that's done, there really isn't much you need to do in the settings menu. You can change things around if you feel like it. They're pretty straightforward. You can pretty much ignore this settings menu for a basic first time setup. With that being said, just head over into the playlist menu here where your games are populated now. For example, I'm going to use Super Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm going to select Super Mario Kart. I'm going to select Run. It gives me options at this point. I have downloaded two cores, BSNES Performance and SNES 9X. So you can select your core at this point. If you want to change it at a later time, just head back.